Do you think this album was proactive or reactive? Proactive. Pro. Ice? Pro. I'll agree you with just that. said that. Yeah, I agree with There's that. There's a little true. bit of reactive to it, possibly. Reacting to what, though? Bad Bunny. Stealing your takey. <laughs> Bad Bunny doing what? Crushing the fucking world with music sales. Hmm. See, I'm thinking more of a business. But yeah, but Bad Bunny just dropped. He did. So he wouldn't know what his project consisted of prior to. Maybe. You have a pretty good idea what a Bad Bunny album is going to sound like. I'm just thinking business. He just Mm. signed this big deal. And they're into everything Drake. He did announce that his festival was coming back. So now if I put the soundtrack out for that vibe at my festival and all of this shit, then... I just think the nigga's a, a worldwide phenomenon. And I ben. think, and I think that that hasn't that, that's not new. No, but I'm saying, and he been in chill mode for a couple years, because I don't think that CLB. I think that was old shit. It was. We, mm-hmm. we so yeah. I think that he been traveling overseas, and the sounds are different, yo. From just United States artists to mm-hmm. international artists, mm-hmm. it's whole different sounds. And I think he just been moving around, and some of those I, sounds are start. I don't like, think that's new. I, don't, I think that's been. He's the always case. done that. I know, but that's my thing. Yeah, it's just, but it's, it's just but gradually. It's, yeah, but it's a little out. more. It's a little more relevant now with his new deal and his new situation. Yeah. True. Him traveling around before, he still had people to answer to, music to be made and catered to a certain way. Demo, yeah. This is probably the first time that you're hearing freedom Free. from him. Yes, I would agree. Yes, that's a reasonable uh, reasonable that. assumption. I would agree with that. I also think that he has probably heard the uh, talk of he never does anything um, uh, experimental or Everything steps outside of his, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Steps outside of his box, so here you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna do yeah. a, a, a that's kind of what a, a, a concept album, for correct. lack of a better term. Because yeah, even I'll, when he did, um, uh, what's the shit you just played? Jokers was dissing it. One dance when he came out with the little club banger oh, yeah, that yeah. everybody in New Jersey niggas tried, yeah, yeah, niggas tried, niggas was dissing it, dance. niggas, niggas was dissing it a little bit. Oh, Jamaican Drake, I, I, yeah. I saw all of that. Uh-huh. So I just think that he and then what happened? They grow on you. I just think that the music is undeniable in those songs. I haven't heard this album, but one dance. Who, who the fuck don't like one dance? Originally, there was a lot of people. I'm, I'm that agreeing did not with like you, but, I'm, but that because be mindedness. But look, because or brand for him. Yes, I got right you. there. This is something different. You don't usually do this, but then we're gonna complain when you stay safe and don't take a risk. See, Bef- that's that's that overseas. Befo- see now, that, and that's my thing, right? Before Drake come on on most of these records, it's great music. It's yo. Nikki Beach, Morocco. <laughs> no bullshit. Hey, I was in the car hype, yo. I don't know, but listen. Let me get to my point before I start jamming out all over the place here. <laughs> Ice, you come in here every week and talk about, or or a lot. We speak about these niggas out mm-hmm. there and how they don't really be fans of music. They be fans of people, Correct. and and that is that is relevant now. Mm-hmm. These people can't convince me that this is bad music. Because if K. Trinata put this out, I would be going crazy. Mm-hmm. If Majid Jordan put this out, I would be going crazy. Yeah. There's a few people that make this that I like. See, that's the thing. You like this. That I like, yes. You like this. This is your bag. Yes. So this is not really a Drake take for me. Got Stylistically, it's a music take. I like this style of music. And, I don't. and this gentleman, Drake, with all of his wealth of resources, only went and got the best people mm-hmm. that do this type of music, which is why before he come on on most of these songs, I already love the song. Just the music. I actually could take this as an instrumental project. I don't really need him on. He didn't do nothing. True. This is he, but that, this type of music doesn't really call for like uh, extravagant that, lead yes. vocal Singing or rapping. I got yeah. mad when he tried to rap on this album. You no, I like that, though. I that, actually... That, I, that, that, what is the... Uh, get that shit the fuck so, out of here. See, that's, that's one of my that's favorite the one, that's, oh, Me too. My that's the one review that's I would have had. I would have liked him to switch it up because the melodies... You know, he's a fucking brilliant melody maker, but to me, the melodies on a lot of these songs... And it's only This is only a two-time listen, but they kind of blend into each other too much. Again, in this genre that is applicable, like you're kind of supposed to do that to some degree, but... Just putting it on and listening to it, it can get a little mundane to me. Well, I cut it off on, on first listen. Uh, I I could not get to track ten as a straight listen. I needed to hear something slower. Mm. Uh, That's what my wife said. Same thing. Yeah, but what you mean? 
It's all uh, up tempo. Yeah, I was riding around oh, at twelve thirty a.m. to the strip club. That, like, that, 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 yeah, that gotcha. wasn't my vibe the whole time. Yeah. I just needed to hear the Drake so I can come in here and give an educated opinion on something. But uh, no, I cut it off at ten. Mm. But when I woke up and it was hot as shit. And I put it on in my phone from the balcony watching people jog and take calls and walk dogs. And I'm watching the fucking viewer that just hit a little different. I walked in the, uh, I walked in the other crib the other day and I said, does it just feel different in here? So they oh, it's the windows. It's mm-hmm. the windows. I'm without some win- windows. There's some windows mm-hmm. in here. And I could see how the extra sunlight in windows. I know I'm going to sound like a loser right now. Nah, but no, it, I, a, I can see mm-hmm. how it affects you and your mood mm-hmm. and your feelings. So I submit to those feelings that I have yet to get yet. Like when I look over and see that billionaire building, that big skinny bil- mm-hmm, billionaire mm-hmm. building, I always wonder how it looked from the top. Like that guy. Mm. Which is interesting because no, I could see that building. I'm not that far windows. from that building. But you're not going to have that billionaire top floor of that building feeling looking at it from where I am. I imagine that to be where Drake is. I imagine that to be where Kanye is. I imagine that to be where Hove is, like LeBron. I have a short list of people that have probably just been overexposed to things. So when they say some to shit. looking down on people. <laughs> I'm no. joking. I'm not talking about no, in a, uh, no. Because when I say overexposed, they you meeting just people from all walks of life, all businesses, all types of families. You you just meeting different, you meeting different shit. Uh huh. Fam. So your experience is like I think also just being physically on top of everyone, looking down off your penthouse balcony it, will change your perspective look. on things a little bit. But no, you might be in basis. fucking Italy for a month. You might be in niche France for a month, mm-hmm. and you just hearing all these different types of music. And you just want to incorporate them. You might be over there bopping your ass off like sure. y'all want to drive. Well, like I said, like, like I couldn't make mood music living in Montclair. <laughs> <laughs> but look, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. that's always been Drake. If you think about it, first going down to Houston, taking the Houston influence into his music. Atlanta, you know the 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 mic. Like he, everywhere he move around, you can kind of hear it a little bit. Then when it went to London, you hear it. Yeah. Right. You True. know what I'm saying? Yeah, He's like, always so you can hear that this is a, a world travel project. Dude, yeah. Oh, in general, his yeah, music yeah, has yeah. always sound world travel to me. Well, this a yeah, little he more. Jumped, he, this a little more because this is all. Like you yeah, said, but I want to stay there too. I'm deep diving, but I want to stay deep there dive. too. Right, like the London shit was getting popular, but when he went over there to jacket, it was like, oh, he must maybe know something. He must be trying to spread that shit even a little more. And boy, did it work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same for when he did that shit with Afro beats, right? Mm-hmm. Like, the shit be buzzing. But when he do it, it just gets different. It's the biggest artist in the world. Though. Well, one of. Now he got every resource. So you could take the best of both or the best of all and add him on it. And it's just going to be. I just think that Drake. The same way companies like Apple and Spotify, like the the big dogs behind the scenes start, they know information that means that they need to go lock India down. Uh We need to to go lock Africa down. Yeah, yeah. it's coming. Us over here don't be knowing shit about none of that, but to their business, that's what the main goal is right now for us to get to the... And I think that's what Drake is. It's bigger market. So when Drake is doing dance, right... Cause that fucking um, Hurricane Chris shit popped in my head when I started hearing this, like that. Hey, back, back, yeah, back. Mm-hmm. Just the popularity of that, where it was popular at TikTok, all the stories about mm-hmm. TikTok. TikTok came in my head, and then I'm like, oh, he must know a metric. <laughs> Probably, yeah. There's there's a reason that this boy is doing this. For however many records, fourteen records, because mm. it's different for him. It's different for him. It is, but I. It's a reason that I don't know yet. That has part- more to do with music. That more to do than just the music. No, it's business, and we don't know. We're we on the, the the receiving end of all of that shit. Yeah, they know what's going on up there. They tinkering and algorithms and all that bullshit. We just a consumer. We get the product at the end. We we in a restaurant. They don't brought the food out. 
We don't know what what's going on back. While I the agree with all that, I do think that he also just probably likes this music and wanted to do it. <laughs> like I don't, I think. Yeah, but when you that big, you I don't think it's really just a I like and want to do. I think both things are true. Every move I make is like I said. We, he just signed this big deal. Every move I make, every tweet he sent, every post, he, everything science. is calculated with him. I can't just go and do something. It's too much going around. I agree with that, but I also disagree with that. Just as a as an artist and creator, we sometimes we're privy to information of shit, and we just don't really want to do that shit. Like I think he actually likes this shit, and clearly oh, yeah. it, going you through his discography, like it. it's been in there the whole time. I like we so. don't. I'm not saying he never wanted to do this. I think yeah. he likes it. He does. I like think it. he likes it. It's clear he likes. it. And think, there happened to be an uh, incentive to do it. There you know what I mean from a business spec perspective. Also, right back to this, uh, just back to this uh, freedom narrative that we mentioned. What stood out for me on this album was. This is the first time that I ever believed him when he's talking that shit to, to a girl and like saying, I'm going to love myself and fuck you, I'm off you, don't call my phone, I'm done, this, blah, blah, blah. Like all of that shit. Rings a little truer? No, yeah. it sounds true. Yeah. It don't sound like the egotistical, Rad, machismo yeah. uh, facade that it normally has sound. Normally, it was it was accompanied with the very next bar being insecure. Yeah, that was absent here. I was happy for the man. Mm-hmm. I was happy for him. Okay. You, sign, you I'll... sign that type of deal. You run around on these fucking private jets with owls on them. <laughs> you ain't you 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 and your kid got it right. It looks like mm-hmm. right. Fucking uh. All of your people employed, y'all playing basketball, you niggas, mm-hmm. you had the game over here. Like, the headspace that he's in, we ain't heard a peep about him with the hoes for the first True. time in his career. Mm. This is the first stretch in his career that even as an insider, now, of course, some of that is with NDAs, but still it leak out. Yeah, but, it's still yeah. leak out past the, the NDA. The last shit was the, the baseball game shit, right? Yep. And that was a minute ago. It's like a year ago. Dude. And that was science. Well, yeah. <laughs> Again, and that was a science project. Mm. I'm talking about the real shit with the O's that has followed him his whole career. This is the first time you don't hear it. You don't see it. That's true. I just am happy for him with how f- freedom and happiness, this seems like the closest he's been to it. I also think that uh, back to like when you first put on the album in the car, my experience putting it down over here, Ice's experience putting it on at midnight. I don't think that this genre in general and this album in particular is necessarily uh, put on the music, sit on the couch, smoke a bong, have a glass of wine, and analyze no it. No way. This is back, background-ish to a degree. Like, you're not back. supposed to be sitting here focused on it. Like Now, I'm with you. I agree with that. I agree 100%. Mm-hmm. Now, imagine if you don't know that. Because that's kind of what did it. You yeah. don't know that. Drake don't give you this. This right. is still, this is still appreciated, though. I, like You have to hear it in a proper setting to appreciate it. Yeah, if I'm in a hookah bar or... But I, yeah. that is my issue with the people that have rushed to say that it's bad music. It's not bad music. To a person that does it's not just like not that. a Drake album. It's not a Drake album you were expecting. Uh, I caught you off guard, rug from underneath you, however you want to word it. Mm-hmm. The music is not bad music. I'm never listening to that sticky up shit, though. I like that shit. And that's, my, that's probably no, my favorite. I would never hear that. I wish he would have rapped a little bit more. And then I like rapping over house beats. Being the petty dude that he is, toward the end of the album, <laughs> started to sound like Drake, huh? Well, the last song. The last yeah. song? Yeah. And the one before that, too. Liability. Listen right. to it again. That's a chop and screw one, ain't it? I didn't know it to be. I just thought it was slow. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't. Uh, again, I'm not a fan of that style of music though so this is again it's just not for me so yeah if I hear this I'm gonna cut that off man. I don't wanna hear that I don't wanna hear that you that put being it on said, in the car what, what, I if, do, it, I what if it what if it comes on at your hosting tonight I can't control that Let them what are you gonna do I'm there to get a bag you can play whatever you want you can play the ABCs I don't care <laughs> Ish, say something what am I supposed to Anything. say? Anything. The nigga Anything. said he Good only cared about the spanky. No job. Uh, 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 u